Raymond Bacard in the flesh. Yes, he said I was wearing flip flops. He's about to. You're gonna read the part that I'm in the book. Is it pictures? No, there's no pictures. Oh. It's just the All right. So. This is the book I'm in, right? She Berlin was Turnpike. She was about 20 years old, though her voice sounded much younger. She was thin except for a slightly protruding belly. Her blonde hair fell in front of her face. Her complexion was very clear. Pale and scared, she didn't appear to be high, just exhausted. She was wearing a hooded, long white sweatshirt with metallic print on her chest and sleeves, along with a dark vest. Her jeans looked a little bit too big for her, and the night was cold to be walking on the streets of New York with flip-flops, but she was. Then the two NYPD detectives, the girl and I, were standing on the sidewalk just outside the car truck. Another officer was pressuring the driver on the street side. From above us, the sounds of the passing traffic on the elevated highway made it difficult to hear the conversation. So we all moved a little closer to each other. The detectives began to question her in rapid fire. And then it's really just a transcript of the video. Wow. Now, may I ask you, this is uh, now my video, everyone. This is Barbara Risi from the Bronx. I'm here in the flesh with Raymond Bacard. He gave me uh, this awesome copy of Berlin Turnpike, which I am indeed in. And I am very grateful that he came to my home. I am blessed. Uh, he also was a Christian, and he said that uh, people have been praying for me all these years. Right, Raymond? Uh, yes. I mean, untold thousands, because a million people have seen the video. Yes. And I've been using it in training and talking in conferences for 10 years. Wow, that's and amazing. People continually ask me about you. Thank you. I need to be able to give the answer to them finally, before Christmas, especially this year, it's just gonna be the best news ever for so many people. Oh, thank you so much. And you said I was in the Vatican too. My sister's a nun, I told you, so that's amazing. I the Vatican last year, and they saw the video as well, and uh, yeah. It's, wow. You're well known. And, but to be able to find you, is just, it's still surreal. My mind hasn't caught up with the reality here. Though. Wow, so wow. And, and how, how um, do you perceive me now after all that I've been through? Did I hold, did God has done work in me, right? Beloved sister. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sister in Christ. Amen. Yes. Yes, thank you. So I, you're going to be doing, I mean, you've, in all that turmoil you were living through and then coming out of, and not even knowing about it, you yes. Helped and educated a lot of people. Thank but you. What you're going to do is so much more. Oh, please! I just want to help people, and like I said, um, I want to do things on my own behalf with your help, of course. Um, and I will say this: I will never ask you for a dime. I'm not interested in asking you for any money. I would like to indeed help people and make my own money with my story, uh, with your help, and. Um, and I appreciate you said you're going to help promote my channel, which would be very grateful if I can, you know, even monetize off of that would be excellent, you know, because uh, I want to do something positive, which I am. And I do have my daughter, which she needs my help. And it's it hurts me that I, I really don't have much to offer my children financially. So anything I can do to uh, help people that were in or are still in my position, especially when my son goes to school, I would love to go in the, you know, the front lines and minister to people out there and even go back to Hunts Point and uh, see who else is there and try to tell them, look, if I can get out, so can they, you know, and that's really how I feel. Yes. They really want to go and listen to you. They won't listen to anybody else except somebody who's been through it. Yes. They need to hear from you. And so do people not at all. They need to hear what it was like, how it happened, how you got out. Uh, but it's especially to help the survivors. Yes, that's that's what so I want to do. People think that they can go on the streets, they can see a girl, they can give her a little doll or something or a bottle of water, and she's going to be so grateful, and she's going to jump in the car and go and be grateful and happy for the rest of her life. Right, right. And they don't understand that it takes working with survivors all yes. day, every day. Yes. Because they don't just have the problem of having been trafficked. They have legal problems, medical problems, yes. family problems, education problems, uh, health. Yes. Uh, children with their children. So many issues. Yes. Like me. Like I'm a perfect example. And um, like I said, I would love to get my identification. Like I said, the two names is the discrepancy. And um, I, if I can get a divorce from that man, you know, in the future, like like you said, we've got to take one step at a time. It's not, or nothing's going to happen overnight with these things, but I do appreciate having your advocacy, and that's what 
honestly and earnestly from my heart, I say this to you. I am grateful, you know. When I found you and uh, Tito had emailed you, the Lord put in my heart, he said, are you ready for what's about to happen in your life? Like, I've always known these experiences would be used. Even back then, I used to look to the sky and say, Lord, you know my heart. You know I'm not a bad person. Just unfortunate things have happened to me. But I want to use them to glorify the Lord. It's not about me. It's about him. If it wasn't for him, I would be dead. And recently so. I just had a recent health scare. Yes, I'm on blood pressure medication now because my blood pressure, I was getting anxiety attacks. I never had anything like that in my life. Uh, for some reason, these things were happening to me, and I cried out to the Lord, and he healed me. He healed me, and I am so grateful. Like, it was very bad. It was scary. I would lay down at night, and my heart was jumping out of my chest, and I'm like, what is going on? I had a stress test. They did the sonogram on my heart. Um, and on the treadmill and then checked it again and they said there's nothing wrong with your heart You're suffering from panic attacks. I never had panic attacks in my life But the Lord took them from me just like he took my addiction from me Do you know I haven't used crack cocaine in nine years? I haven't shot heroin in nine years all documented I have not shot cocaine intravenously in four years. It happened just like this, right? I used one day I got disgusted I had a little bit left, I put it in this box. I put it in the closet because psychological, I was like, okay, it's there. And I never, ever used it again. I never, ever got high ever again. Yes, and it'll be four years coming up in July. Yes, yes, just like that. Yep. Well, now the next step. Now the next step to, you know, to get your story out there and help people. Because it really, you already you help more people because you already have. I had no idea. I had no idea. Yes. So, when, how did you find it? Because a lot of people relate to you through that one video. So right. They want to know that's the story. Yes. They want to know how that story is going or how what, what the next chapter is. So, but how did you, I mean, you told me, but how did you find that video or how did it come to you and how did you find it? Okay, so Tito set me up a YouTube channel. And I just started making videos random. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should start telling my story through, you know, my channel. And then other people that were hooked up with a channel called The Chosen One said, I know who you are. You're Snow Bunny. I said, how do you know? He's a Christian. His name is Keem. My very first subscriber from another country. I was so excited. New Zealand. Very kind. He said, this is you. He sent me the link. He said, Berlin Turnpike. I was like, Berlin Turnpike, like, what the heck? I didn't know what that was, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I, I heard of it, I heard of that it was, uh, you know, a place where things like this happen, but I didn't know, I'd never been there. And uh, he said, check it out. I said, oh my God, I had no idea that, I, that this even happened. He's like, that's you. And for some reason, because, you know, I, I knew that, uh, like I mentioned that, uh, I was in another book and another documentary. I was reaching out, trying to get help from there. And um, then just recently, God said, reach out to, um, to Raymond. And I did. Yes. And Somebody from New Zealand? Yes. He's never met you, obviously. Yes. They, he he they, knew. They, you said snow he's, in your videos? No. He seen my face and he knew because um, I was starting to talk about addiction and whatnot. And he would watch he's a channel. Yes. Because I have this one. It's just, you're more expressive when you don't have to hold that. Oh, really? It's up to you. Okay, so but guys, no, no. I'm ready? I'm going to end it. Guys, I'm going to finish this up with uh, Raymond Bacard. I love you all. You heard it first. You heard it here from both of us. And I'll see you guys in, on the rebound, okay? Raymond's rooting for me, right, Raymond? I sure am. Always. All right. Ciao, guys.